Hello everyone. I'm going to go over today the uh, document center and record center templates. I'm going to show you the look and feel and uh, out of the box uh, templates for both uh, uh, sites. Subsite creation. Now we're going to do a uh, new enterprise. So we have our enterprise option here. So if you have enterprise, then you can choose these options available for uh, enterprise templates. So we want our document center. So our document site is where you go to document. I'm sorry, this is where you go to manage all your documents. <laughs> Great, create. And this is your basic uh, layout for the uh, document center. So if you want to upload a document, you click upload a document. You can choose a file from a location. So if I go to desktop and go to my tutorial for that list of libraries, I can maybe upload this test document. <clears throat> Press OK. And then uh, if you want a title or a name, you can do that too. I'm just going to leave it the same. And then it'll upload onto your documents. And uh, here's uh, our test document that's uploaded. So you can have modified on or before. You can choose the dates to apply for filters. So there are a lot of things you can do. You have tasks assigned. You have your libraries here, so documents and tasks. You have your lists and libraries here too. Oh, so if you click on libraries, it'll take you to your site contents. So you might want to get rid of that. It's not very efficient. Because um, you can just go to site contents and see if they're here. And you might want to set permissions to see or to allow people to see what kind of list of libraries you have on your, um, on your document uh, uh, site, your document center site. So this is basically for storing documents and um, basically if you have several different teams or projects and or if you have several different teams working on a project and this is a good place to go to to keep uh, all the versioning and uh, keep all your documents um, you know from getting too out of control you don't want to have too many documents too many versions and this basically helps you organize it's a central place for organizing your documents. So we're going to go back and uh, choose another template, subsite. We have our, um, no, not blog, record center. Records. So this is for record management. And you can, um, keep uh, track of all your records so not it's a little bit like the document center but it's more of a a uh, secure place for your records so this is a place where you would have uh, um, you'd be you'd have a lot of uh, permissions and um, access levels so this is a place where not everyone can uh, have access to and if they do then they don't have access to everything so this is a very tight and secure place you can submit records. You have your libraries and you have your drop off library where you would put all your records and you can customize this however you want to. And uh, it's very easy for you to know what's going on or what kind of site this is. If you just see here, it shows you that lock. So now you know that, okay, this is a very uh, secure place and you might want to keep uh, it very secure. <laughs> you don't want your records going into other people's hands. Okay, so this is uh, your pending submissions and you have all your information here. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, look forward to other tutorials from me.